Hello beautiful souls, this is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we're going to look at the new moon in Sagittarius happening on November 29th, 2016. So with this new moon in Sag Sagittarius, we are just finishing up the cycle of the Scorpio new moon, which was letting go of something that was really difficult of letting go of. I keep seeing the card of um, the Ten of Swords, um, and actually on the daily readings that I've been doing uh, on Twitter and Facebook, the Ten of Swords has, has actually come up a couple of times. So with the new moon of, of Scorpio, we were talking about letting go of someone, something, um, some situation, some mindset that it's just no longer serving you. And that that can be really difficult because we can become complacent and comfortable in the position we are and not see the benefit of really moving on when everything is okay. Well, with Scorpio, the new moon in Scorpio, letting that go had to happen. You know, it, it was there was no choice. And it happened whether we liked it or not. And so a lot of us were in some ways devastated, surprised, uh, terrified <laughs> in certain aspects. But uh, n at all, all in all, none of us were exactly, we knew that this was going to happen. We knew that shift was going to go down. In our personal lives, in the collective, we could feel it. And so now with this new moon in Sagittarius, we are asking, what did we learn from that Scorpio time of digging deep, of delving into the the thick of it, into the darkness? And, and by darkness, I don't mean a negative, but uh, things that we didn't see, things that we didn't fully understand, uh, things that we had to really learn more about. And so with that, when we dig deep into that and we find all of this stuff out and we bring it to the light, sometimes we want to show it to people and sometimes we don't. But now it's in the light in Sagittarius and the new moon in Sagittarius is asking, what are you going to do with this, with this newfound space, with letting go of, of some of the things that are no longer serving you? Who are you now that you've, you've already went through this, this, this reincarnation in a way? So are you going to take the information? Are you going to heal from it and carry on? Are you going to take this information? Are you going to use it for your higher power to bring you to a higher level of energy? How are you going to use this information that in some regards can be considered very dark, very, um, what's the word, uh, kind of a faux pas, kind of a stigma behind it? Uh, like a little sticky, people don't necessarily want to talk about it, but you you know in your heart what it is that you need and what you don't need. So now it's time to take take it and move forward. So reflect and see what is. Um, so with the Sagittarius, think of, I mean, the sign of the Sagittarius so with the bow. The bow is all the way back now. You know, you've pulled it back, you've pulled it back. Now let it go and see if you hit your mark. Yeah? Make sure that you're, you're pulled back with purpose. And just let it fly to your proverbial mark. All right. So Sagittarius New Moon. We're going to go through every one of the signs just quickly. Um, two cards for each sign. Let's shuffle just a little bit more. Sagittarius new moon. What do we need to let fly? How do we let it fly? With the highest of light, highest of energy, let our arrow be true. Okay. the middle one okay so we have Aries Taurus Gemini Cancer Leo Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, 
Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Uh, so we're, I'll give you guys a second card as we go. So let's start off with Aries, okay? Aries, we have the Eight of Swords. So with this new moon, this this phase, I feel like Aries, you're, you are definitely having some some difficulty in the Scorpio the Scorpio process of letting go. Like there, you just don't even know where where to be, what to do, um, who to trust, and it's it's a very mental state for you. It's like you feel mentally frozen in moving forward, in and it's and it's all self self inflicted. Like you can get out of it in within yourself. You know, the the bands are pretty loose. The ties are, are not that tight. So till you, it's time for you to let go and walk forward instead of walking back. Like your back is, your past is, is cut by swords. So there's a whole fence of swords saying, you can't turn back now. You need to move forward. All right, let's pull your second card, Aries. Okay, so that was, this is the Seven of Cups. So I feel like the reason why it's hard for you to move forward in this is you have so many choices and you don't know which choices are good and which ones will will hinder you in the future. So, I mean, and there's a lot of the, uh, different ways that you can go about it, but you just don't know which one. So I think you are riddled with, uh, with choices you, and it's just kept you paralyzed because of it. The thing is, is if you sit for just a moment, breathe in, take a deep breath, and release, the choice will show itself. The choice between, you know, some of the negative ones, but then there's some positive ones here too, you know, will show itself. And I feel like Aries, you already know what it is that you want to do and where you want to go. And Aries, you are, I mean, you, you're fast, you're strong, you can make quick decisions. And so this is out of character for you in a way to be hesitant. So, you know, I've, maybe it's a little bit due to a lack of, uh, lack of self-confidence, but there's no reason because you have, it's all in you. It's all there, ready, ready for you to just dig in and go forward. And the beautiful thing is, is there's a lot of great choices for you. There are, there's a lot of things that you could be doing with this. And, and you just have to choose. And you, you know, in your heart of heart, which ones you, you want to do and which ones will not serve you. Okay. So with Taurus, we have the 10 of wands. So this is a, a heavy load to bear. You know, you, you've been working really, really hard and you just don't see the worth in it at this point. You know, it's, um, there's, there's a difference between working really hard and then seeing it pay off and then realizing, yes, I now have to work even harder to maintain this, but it's worth it. But you're not feeling like it's really worth it anymore. You're feeling like I'm exhausted and I need to rest. I, I mean, I, my back is in pain, you know, my, my, you're feeling the effects of your hard work right now. So with this new moon, let's see. The fool reversed. All right. So, I mean, this, this is also, I mean, the fool is related um, to Uranus, also Aquarius. So it could be somebody who's coming in who has those kind of qualities. But really, I feel like this is... Um, you know, even though you've been working so very hard, um, work just a little bit more, Taurus, okay? Just give it a little bit more. You know, it's saying that, you know, here we have the fool in reverse, and so it's kind of being footless, foot loose and fancy free, and, you know, almost falling off the cliff because of it. And so it's, it's making sometimes foolish, when it's in reverse, it's making foolish choices because you're just not in the right state of mind. But often when the fool is in reverse and it's not in the right state of mind, it's because it's so joyful and it's filled with so much hope and it's just not seeing the danger ahead. Here we have <clears throat> like the exact opposite, okay? Like notice how their head is down too and they're pushing forward, but it's because they're working so hard, 
Okay, so it's finding a mid ground between the two. <clears throat> so keep working, keep keep doing what it is that you're doing because it's it is going to pay off. But make sure that you make time for for yourself and for things that you find joy in. But don't give up is really what this this is all saying right here is just don't give up. Don't give up and say, I quit. I'm just going to go move to the Bahamas and forget it. I'm done. Yeah, it's saying, no, keep pushing just a little bit more. Yes, self-preservation is needed, but don't give up. Okay, so we have Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So we have the King of Swords. So this could be somebody um, in your life, Swords. It, actually, I feel like it's, it's... It's you. It's you, Gemini, because, uh, you know, the King of Swords is an air sign. So, and you're an air sign. So this is you. You you are coming into your own power. Like, And I feel like because of the, Scor the Scorpio new moon that we just had and we're moving into Sagittarius, implementing what it is that we just learned for the greater good, boom, King of Swords. You are, all these lessons that you've learned in this last month, all these things that have kind of you've been cultivating and have been shifting in your life are manifesting your future and manifesting you sitting beautifully on your personal throne and succeeding. So I really, I honestly feel that way very strongly that that is you. Let's pull your second card. Five of Swords. So this is, you know, kind of battling other people, having um, issues with somebody, but becoming victorious. And I mean, it can definitely also be that you're the people walking away, but in this situation, I don't think so. I really think that this is um, you being victorious in some issues dealing with others. It could be with um, family members, uh, co-workers. I'm feeling like it's it's family though. I'm feeling like it could be somebody who's close to you. You consider family. It could be a friend that you just consider family. But you're going to have to have a discussion with them. And it's going to be, a it might be a little heated. It might be um, uncomfortable. But you will come out victorious and they will see what it is uh, that you're trying to get across. And I think that is your your new moon you know, what are you implementing is your own strength and your own power and how you can get it across to others in a way that they understand. So that's, that's great. Okay. So now we have cancer, cancer. We have the initiate, um, reversed. So here you go. Here's the card. All right, so I feel like you're dealing with a, a spiritual venture and it's just taking a little bit of time, Cancer, that you are um, with this situation. I mean, it could definitely be something to do with the church, but it could to, it could be with something that, you know, makes you feel comfortable, makes you feel at home. And it's just not panning out like you had anticipated. And so that I feel like it, with a Scorpio new moon going into the Sagittarius new moon for you, uh, you know, you had to dig deep when it came to home, when it came to spirit, and some of the things that came up for it, you don't know how to use in your day-to-day -day life yet. You're just trying to figure out, like, and, and this could be a spiritual thing. I feel like this is more of a spiritual healing, like an emotional healing um, of your heart. Like, you, you could have had, like, a heartbreak. You could have had a question of faith. And you're, you're finding your answers out, but you're just, you don't know what to do with it yet. Let's see. Let's see what the second card says. Queen of Wands. So let me show that to you. So the Queen of Wands. This is a fire sign. This is a fire energy. Fire being Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And seeing as this is a Sagittarius new moon, I feel like that you need to set your intentions this new moon. Okay, so this this is the wind in your sails, okay? So it's it's taking everything that you've learned in the spiritual realm, the questions that you had that are finally getting answered, 
and yeah this is impl implementing them in with in in a creative way so the queen of wands is very creative is not afraid to be in front of people is not afraid to make something with her hands with her voice with her body you know she's very creative interesting person who will go for it and not worry what other people think so these are the qualities that you're going to need to take to understand and to get these these questions that you have answered implemented in your life so so this could be that you need to make some some art around what you've learned and express it to those around you if you're a writer write a story and let people read it actually let people read it if you're an artist of some sort um, you know watercolor gouache something like that you know paint something and display it dance dance your heart out but something creative it is calling for you to come to your creative side because you have a very high level of that right now and that is how people will understand what it is that you learned in that process so then we have um, Leo and we have the Queen of Discs all right so this is um, an earth sign so with an earth sign here the Queen of Wands is very grounded of course I mean it's earth but they're very secure in their day-to-day -day life they're very secure in their their finances and their home er, like they have a lot of security and Leo I feel like this is something that you're striving for and that's what it is that you're trying to bring in so let's pull your second card and then we have the five of discs reversed okay so here we have the queen of discs and then we have the five of discs Leo I definitely feel like this is a want this is not a person coming in and and a lot of times I mean when it comes to the Queens uh, you know it, it often is a person but in this regard I I think it's what you want you desperately want this person to come in you want to either be this person or you want this person as a partner and what's holding you back is that you don't feel like you're worthy of of this you know you're not you don't feel like you're worthy of of standing strong and standing next to somebody of this stature that you are you're never going to be successful you're never going to have security that you're going to be stuck outside in the cold but the truth is and I, I do this every single time but it's so important and it's this is why I love this card especially in the reverse okay when we have it right here we have them walking past this beautiful cathedral but when we have it in reverse the cathedral is open and shining and that's what you see you know the people walking by is one thing but look at that just look at how beautiful that is how inviting how warm it's right there for you you just have to open the door so Leo that's what this is saying is if this is what you are seeking if you're seeking to be the queen if you, and you can be seeking to be the queen whether you're male or female or if you're seeking a partner who is a queen it, open the door it's right there manifest it in say I am worth this I am worthy I am I am the queen of discs I love the queen of discs and let them let them come in because I'm from spirit I'm getting the message that they're already there they're just waiting for you okay Virgo we have the two of wands reversed Virgo and I, I've been getting a lot of Virgo requests and readings it's interesting now with the two of wands looking out you know has the world in their hands sees the future knows exactly where they want to go in the reverse it's still the same thing but it's just being hesitant about it and being terrified that you're making the wrong decision don't be terrified Virgo this is your time go get it go make sure that you you keep going forward you've got to you've got to you have the whole world in your hands 
there's so much positivity surrounding you and you have such a great gift to give to the world. Let us see it, please. Ah, perfect. Virgo, you the strength, okay? So to have this happen, have faith in yourself. Have strength to keep going. Or even to start, you know, this is this is could be that you've just been contemplating a project, a venture, talking to someone, moving, uh, and you've just been thinking about it. With the strength, it says whatever it is that you are you want to move forward with, do it. You have the personal strength. You have infinite strength, infinite possibility. You know, look at her crown. All right, so we have Virgo, then we move on to Libra. Libra, seven of swords. Okay, spirit keeps saying, don't cheat yourself, Libra. You keep, okay, so with the Libra, Scorpio, I ha I feel like Libras, this has to do with relationships, okay? And um, you keep wishing for something you don't have. You have all of these swords in your hands. You have so many choices. You have so much love, so many people who love you. But you keep looking back at the two that are standing behind you instead of what you already have. This is, I mean, in, in a way, I feel like it's a, it's a tad selfish Libra, but at the same time, I think it's just that you see so much possibility in everything and everyone that you're around that you don't want to let go of any of them because everyone is so beautiful, everyone is so loving, and you just want to take them all with you. But know that you're going to slice yourself and you're going to cut your own hand off if you have too many in your hands. And then you're going to lose them all. So make choices, make choices. And I feel like this for um, a lot of, for a high percentage of my Libras, this is a romantic decision that you have m multiple options of people who love you and you need to make a decision. Are you going to lay down these swords and carry these two or are you going to keep what you already have? Let's pull on your second card. Ace of Discs. Okay. So with the Ace of Discs, this is interesting now because this is a new beginning, but this is a delayed new beginning. For some of you, this is this feels very split down the middle for this new moon. You know, what is it that you want to manifest in? Who do you want to keep? Who do you want to let go? There is a new beginning coming, but it's delayed. So I'm feeling like whoever you're holding on to right now is not going to stick around because there's something else that you need to do. But it's not happening this new moon. This is just planting the seeds of that. So you might be staying with this this person or, and this could be in work too. This could be that you're working and that you it's time to let it go and move on to something else. But I feel like you're in a way um, cheating yourself. This is not about being cheated on. I don't get that sense at all. It might be for some of you that you are getting cheated on and that you, you're not seeing it for what it really is. And so that's why the new beginning is delayed because you're holding on to this. Scorpio, darkness, cheating, sexuality, somebody's cheating on you and you just aren't ready to accept it. So you're not ready to move on, which you need to if that's the case. But I feel like you're cheating yourself. A lot of people are cheating themselves. And they're not seeing clearly because they have they're they're too busy with what they're holding on to see the truth. Okay. So Scorpio, we have the Knight of Cups reverse. So this is a message that needs to come in that you're not receiving quite yet. I think it's one of those kinds of situations, uh, Scorpio, that it's like. <laughs> getting beaten over your head. Scorpio, I, like, I feel like I say this to you all the time because uh, Scor I feel like 
out of all the zodiac, Scorpio is the, mis the most misunderstood. They are one of the strongest of the signs, and they get just so much flack. Like, oh, Scorpio. I'm like, no, they're deep, they're luscious, they're beautiful, and they can manifest anything they want when they want it, if they want to. So this is a message to you that, you know, you're not listening. You're not listening to your intuition. You're not listening to your emotions. And they're trying to tell you something. So you need to listen a little bit closer, uh, especially with Scorpio, with the Scorpio new moon into Sagittarius. In order to, to use what it is that you have learned, you have to listen and you're not, and you're using it uh, to hold, to, to allow it to hold you back. So you're, you know, like, and let's say, let me give you, um, um, okay. So let's say you have a new job. It's going very well, but you know that you could do more and that you could get a raise very quickly. But instead of requesting that, instead of saying, Hey, I, you know, I, I have a lot to offer. I have a lot to give. Then you sit back and you go, well, I just started this job. You know, I don't have a right to talk to anybody about what I need. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to complain. Instead of actually doing something about it. And so in this regard, you know how you need to talk to somebody. You know how you need to rise up and defend yourself and your capabilities. But you just don't because you make excuses for it. You know, if you have a new project that, you know, you, you have an idea for, you say, well, I don't have enough experience. I'm not going to say anything. But your, your idea is brilliant and you're just not sharing it because you're afraid. So don't delay the message. Okay, let's see. Nine of Swords. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I just... I mean, I don't even need to talk anymore, really, Scorpio. This is just exactly what I said. The Nine of Swords is worry. You're worrying about something. You're worrying that, you know, this message won't get come across the way you need it to. But you, do, you needn't worry. You stand strong in yourself and acknowledge your worth. This is like worth, 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 right here, worth, worth, worth. Um, because you're, you're valuable and they, they see that. And they're in a way they I feel like the the other party doesn't want you to see your value. They're hoping that you don't see how awesome you are because then you know they're gonna have to step up their game too. But you need to. okay, Don't worry, don't keep yourself up late at night. Don't hold on to it. Let it go and do what you know you need to do. Implement that that self-worth that took a lot of dig digging to get to. So Scorpio, and then we move to Capricorn. Are we at Capricorn? Sagittarius, sorry. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, new moon. This is your new moon. How perfect is it for you to get the Wheel of Fortune? How perfect. Tides are turning in your favor. You know, you of all the signs, this is for you. This is, you get this once a year. This is your new moon. Make things happen. Make them manifest. Who better to do that than Sagittarius, my magical beings? Yes, Wheel of Fortune. You have dug deep. You have cried it out. You've talked to people. You've dealt with the murk. And now tides are changing in your favor. And you know, I don't even, Sagittarius, you know what you need to do. It's just, you're, you're, this is you. I love it. Wheel of Fortune is such a wonderful card to have. And it's your, you know what else? This is so great. Is that the Wheel of Fortune is the card of Sagittarius, is the card of Jupiter. Expand that beautiful self. Love it. Okay. And then we have the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's no, no need to fight. There's no need to argue. There's no need to carry on um, in the negativity. It's all washed away. This is so beyond you. It's like I could throw this card in a way because in reverse, it's just like, don't even bother fighting. Don't fight this. Don't fight the good feeling. Sagittarius, things are moving in your favor. 
manifest manifest this is the this is the month to get things going do it you have so much fire underneath your feet you are just going to just blaze on by get it i love this this is beautiful and it, it, it could not be more positive for you whatever you desire whatever you want to manifest and make happen you can do it Sagittarius, I want to hear from you guys all month long about all the wonderful things you're doing and let us all know because it is so great to share in positivity and oh, things and joy, you know, that I love to hear people's joyous occasions as well as, you know, their hard occasions, but please definitely share. Okay, love it, Sagittarius. Then we have Capricorn, Ten of Cups, Reverse. So Capricorn, you're, you're wanting that happy ending, but it's just not happening for you quite yet. Not saying that it won't ever happen. It's just not happening at this very moment. So in this, in this regards here with the 10 of cups, you know, you want that emotional contentment. I think you're going about it the wrong way though. I think it's, you know, it's like you want it so badly, but you're, I feel like you're suffocating your want you're holding on to it too tight and not allowing any wiggle room and for it to manifest in ways that seem contrary to what you thought it would be so because the ten of wands in reverse is not saying that you're never gonna get this it's saying I'm right there but you're just you're not ready for it yet so be open to to different ways of your contentment happening all right your second card is the three of swords okay so with the three of swords it often has to do with uh, deceit it can be cheating it can be feeling feeling cheated uh, third party three people three's a crowd kind of attitude um, and I think that's what's holding you back you know here we have the ten of cups and then the three of swords I, but I don't think this is happening to you now. It could be happening to you guys now for a minor group of my Capricorns that someone's cheating on you and that's what's stopping your happiness is because, you know, they're, they're hurting you. It's, it's painful when somebody doesn't respect you as much as they need to in a relationship. I feel like this is in the past for a lot of you though and that you're just holding on to this feeling of if they cheated on me everyone's going to cheat on me and this you know and I feel like this is romantic absolutely but I also feel like it's in other situations too that you felt cheated by your family you felt cheated by work you didn't get the job that you were promised by your boss and they gave it to somebody else by family you just don't feel their support they don't support you in what it is that you believe you need to be and what you need to do and so you feel cheated by your family in that regards or you know they could have taken money from you or something like that but I feel like this has already happened and this was kind of your your darkness this was going into the darkness this was realizing how much you have to value yourself because we do bring in the energies that we are at. So not saying that you're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, far from it, Capricorn. It comes once again to um, the self-worth aspect. You know, that you're like, well, they cheated on me because I'm not everything they wanted. And and so it's it's kind of my fault. Well, yeah, it does take two to tango. But also let's look at it from another perspective. They didn't, you deserve respect. They did not respect you enough to stand up and say, hey, this is what I need. This is what I want. It's not working. You don't need that type of character in your life, you know, who cannot respect you enough to step up because you deserve that. And that's what you would do. And if the, this person is unable to communicate with you, no, how dare them? Then they can step out and you can find your happi happiness elsewhere without them. And and so it's kind of like, you know what I'm kind of seeing with this too? Is 
these swords are stabbing into your your happiness you know they're keeping it down so as soon as you release these swords out take the swords out ah then that can turn that way so release this person release this situation let it go it's time to let this go so that you can you can find your joy and your happiness and it won't happen until you let this go and I understand Capricorn if you can't let it go right you know in one day or a week even a month but this new moon that is your mantra that is your prayer that you are a new person that you are whole that you are full without the negativity of the past relationships that you are abundant and that you are willing to give and that you will love and receive love equally you will give respect and receive respect equally and that is what your new moon is about in Sagittarius so and now we have Aquarius and this is the ace of cups Aquarius, are you are you going to have some new love in your life? Are you going to have something n new that just is emotionally feeling filling? I hope so, Aquarius. That, that's really that's awesome. Yes, the uh, the Ace of Cups is something coming in that is emotionally just makes you feel joyful and and uh, hopeful. And it's just the beginning, so you know it's like kind of that giddy, yay, it's new, it's new and improved. But it is just the beginning, so you know, it's like anything, you have to water it, you have to take care of it, you have to nurture it to keep it growing. So it's going to be up to you if you want to let this grow or not. All right. Okay. And so we have this Ace of Cups, and then we have the Illusion Reversed. So with the illusion, this can be, um, it can, it's just, it's, it's, the illusion is the devil. And so it can be really saucy. It can be, you're overly connected, that you're obsessed almost. Um, it can be addicted. You're addicted to this new beginning. And so that will be your challenge, Aquarius, is that you have this new beginning because you have done the process of letting go what it is that you needed to let go of last new moon period, but not to be addicted to that new feeling. You know, I think that's what it's really saying is that the newness will wear off and you will need to keep cultivating. Do not get obsessed with this. Don't get obsessed. Don't get narrow you know put the blinders on and only see that there's so many different aspects to your life because of this new beginning that you need to see and you need to look at the whole picture instead of just at this one small detail okay that you it's that you're going to be you, you'll feel like you want to obsess about that you'll just keep thinking about thinking about thinking about and so it will be up to you to break that cycle of not thinking about it and expanding your thought and your emotion and your spirit to other things around you that are positive because in doing this you're you're skewing you're skewing your reality and, and so that that is the the worry and finally, Pisces, we have the sun reversed. The sun is positive no matter what. So with the sun reversed, it's new possibilities, it's joy, it's happiness. And the sun is, you know, related, um, is related to Leo and the sun. So it's like happiness, it's children, it's, it's um, possibility, it's creation, it's creativity all wrapped into one so Pisces even if it's in the reverse it's still all of those wonderful things it's just it could be at a little less of a level or it could just take a little bit longer to happen so with this I, I f feel like you have done a really great a lot of Pisces Piscean people have done a great job of letting go of those situations of things that have been too complicated not necessarily too complicated but have been t um, very challenging and you you have delved into it you have met 
met it in the face and you're solving it and because of that you are getting rewarded and you get to have the sun on your side and then we have the ace of wands reversed so then this is a new beginning that wants to come in with kind of a fire sign and that makes sense because we have the sun so this is a new creative venture this is a new beginning uh, when we have, I mean, because this is the ultimate wand in a way, you know, this is like one million wands in, in one card. Uh, but you have a new beginning that's coming in that it's just interesting and you didn't quite see it and it, you never would have expected this to happen, but it, it just fulfills you and you, and it fulfills your, your space in community and within all different realms of your life. Um, but I think it's just taking a while to come in because you're just taking your time to soak it all up. And Pisces, I mean, you guys are also, you know, you guys got Chiron in your sign right now. So you guys have been dealing with some, you know, wounds and really having you, you of a lot of the signs have been having to delve super duper deep and see how these wounds that you have are helpful to all everyone around you which is a difficult process to get through because first you have to acknowledge the pain, you have to accept it, you have to deal with it, and then you can finally give it back. So I feel like you're at that giving back phase of, oh, look at look at my sun shining. It's shining brighter and brighter, brighter. And even though I'm quite not there yet, I'm in a really good space and I can't wait for whatever is to come. And I feel like it's a creative venture. So artistic, something very artistic. All right, everybody, I hope this helps you guys through your new moon. Please tell me your stories about new moon. And if you would like to have a reading, contact me on my website or you can email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Also, I'm doing daily inspirations on Twitter and on Facebook. Remember, this new moon, it's set your intention, manifest, manifest, manifest. Sagittarius is all about that, manifesting your destiny, moving forth for the greater good. So much love, so much joy, so much blessings.